Hey everybody, Professor Klein back here in the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. And I'm gonna bring you a video today talking about the rib cage. And when we look at the rib cage here, this is a full skeleton that we've got. We can do a 360 of it. The rib cage, well, the rib cage are the ribs and the sternum with the xiphoid in here as well. So that's the rib cage. We got a lot of other stuff in here. Clavicle on either side, coming over to the scapula and the humerus, right? So we actually have to take these things out just to see the rib cage. So let's do that. All right, well, we took one thing off the humerus here. We can still see all the other things. First thing I wanna do is name the ribs. So first off, there are 12 different ribs and number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven are called true ribs. They are drastically shaped differently. And number one is tucked up underneath the clavicle. See rib number one right there. First seven are true ribs, but they look a lot different. Now, why are the first seven true and the other one's not? true well that's because these ribs connect directly to the sternum this is the sternum right in the middle here and the ribs that are coming up and directly connecting via some cartilage are called the true ribs what you'll notice is this eighth rib this ninth rib and this tenth rib they don't directly connect they actually come up and then feed into rib number seven so imagine all of these cartilages merging before it gets to the sternum over here we can see that even more clearly one two three four five six seven and then eight nine ten are these false ribs so we call those false ribs where are the last two well here's a great shot of them ribs 11 ribs 12 are the floating ribs they are floating they do not touch the sternum at all they're just kind of floating there and they're very very small let's look into that sternum here and when we look at the sternum we can see the sternum is made up of three main things the manubrium which cuts off right about here you see that line then it's the body of the sternum not this this is a screw that was manufactured with this model so this normally isn't there on the body of the sternum and then this last little tip part here this cone shape is called the xiphoid process xiphoid process right here all three of those things combined are the sternum now with this we've got some notches see up here how this kind of dips downward this is called the jugular notch jugular notch right here these are called the clavicular notches. So where the clavicles come into here are called the clavicular notches. I've got another model over here showing those clavicular notches without the clavicle. So see how it kind of dips in on the side? That's your clavicular notches. Rib number one would be right underneath it. So don't get rib one mixed up with the clavicular notch right here mentioned this was the manubrium but this part right in here would be called the sternal angle the sternal angle is this connection between those two parts coming all the way down here that's it because we already mentioned the xiphoid process but actually i lied because there's actually something called the costal notches and there's a ton of them any place where the ribs are coming in here are costal notches on the sternum. Ribs one through seven directly connect to some part of the sternum. And all right, this has been your video on the rib cage. Thanks for watching.